Today, we will discuss about the transport and the communications. You all know, transport means we can travel from one place to another. And communication means you can, you can connect yourself or ourselves through mobiles, internet, etc., etc. So, everybody have some basic idea about transport and communication. Now, we can start the chapter. This is also a part of evolution of mankind. We see gear of, we see different types of vehicles on the road every day. Everybody of your class have come to school through roads and you, you are all travel by van or auto isha or bus. Now they all run wheels. Think of any two examples where the wheels was used for some other purposes. Have you seen wheel is used in other purposes? If you come to village, you may find porter. The, uh, the porter makes utensil of clay with the help of wheels. Okay. Now we can start the chapter. Transport refer to the environment, movements of people, animals and goods from one place to another. Before that say before I say it, it transport means one man or animal or goods can be shipped one place to another or a man can go from one place to another place. This means the movement of things or animals or goods is transport. In the early days when there was no transport, people moved around either on feet or on the back of animals. Because before the invention of wheel, generally people goes on their go on their feet or they can take the help of animals you have seen in village or in field some boys or girl, uh, some boys or man on the buffaloes generally farmers use these techniques to feed the feed their cattle like buffaloes or other like horse. So the invention of the wheel changed the way people travel. When the invention of wheels changed the people life, you can say that after the discovering of wheel, people can go more further. Invention of the wheel. The first wheel made of stone and wood were invented almost 5000 years ago. Early humans realized that rolling down things made movement faster and easier than dragging heavy loads. Gradually, round shaped wheels were invented and attached to cart to make the movement easier. You, you have looked that. A heavy thing, if you fold, it need more energy. But if you place a roller or wheels under the heavy load, you can easily move it. So, will make the 
फ्लेवर मोर इजियर मोर कॉम्फर्टेबल सो एट फास्ट द व्हील्स आर मेड फ्रॉम वुड एंड स्टोन मैन अर्ली ह्यूमन रियलाइज दैट द रोलिंग वुड मेनली वुड is easier to carry one place to another they use these techniques so they invent wheels and they make it round shape and attach to cart and they find that it is very easier to take goods by using the cart one plus to another is became very easy we nowadays see everywhere wheels are used for the same purpose uses of wheel in early times wheels are were attached to carts for carrying heavy loads easily next invention invention of potter's wheel help humans to make vessels to cook and store food items i give an example the first time before starting the text that whenever you gone through a village you may seen a potter making vessels out of clay these wheels help them to make vessel and which is early time is used for cooking or storing food items wheels were also used for spinning thread that help them start weaving and hence wearing clothes and also you can find you know about charka gandhi charka so this is this is used in spinning threads and with the help of wheels we can weaving and also the cloth industry use the same techniques trade and voyages once the wheel was invented and the people could easily move from one place to another it led to the beginning of trade when people can go more go more further they generally take their goods to the other or further country or further place and they sell it to them and bring their need in the world necessary things so this is the beginning of trade like import or export goods product produced at one place could now be transported easily to both nearby and distant places for exchange domestic animals domestic animals such as bullocks horses and camels are used to drag carts attached to the wheels over longer distance people are very clever they use camels horse or bullocks or ox you can say they use them to drag the heavy loads to carry one place to another people also started using water transport for freight purposes boat which are either rowed by men or moved by sails are used more frequently in waterway people use boats for trade and when they use for the trade they generally use the sail or the row by the men as a result 
दे कैन ट्रेवल इन वाटर वे एंड ऑन द लैंड सो दैट ट्रेड इज बिकम वेरी इजियर एंड वेरी सक्सेसफुल सेल और Sailors began to travel across water bodies with the help of ships to explore new lands and build that build trading network. Many sailors there want to build a network for the trading. So they explore the new lands, or you can say that want to discover new land, new way to to um, go a new country. That's why they can achieve more success in trade. The famous Vietnam explorer Marco Polo left a detailed description of his travel in in the book, The Travels of Marco Polo. This book is the inspiration. You can say it is the inspirational book to the Europeans, and he gave a detailed instruction about Central Asia and. you can say indian china about indian china in his book so his work was important as the first was it uh, important as it was the first to introduce central asia and far east to the europeans what have i said the fabulous riches described by marco polo served as an inspiration for many generation of european sailor sailors to discover the sea route to asia look the land route is large and also there are many travels because in the land way we find ditch lake mountain and some tribal tribes but in waterway it is it is more easier so the book of marco polo give a inspiration to the europeans to discover new route to reach central asia and in this book it was said the river of milk and spices and silk is blown or blow to indian china this concept give inspire inspiration to the europeans sailor they want to achieve something great from indian china let us read about some famous explorer Ferdinand Magellan sailed west and westward from Europe to look for a way to reach East Indies. At first, Ferdinand Magellan tried make make it made a try to reach East Indies from Europe in waterway. When he returned to Europe after successful journey, it was proved that the earth was round. Before it was a concept that the earth was flat okay but when he made a successful journey it has proved that the earth was round unlike the popular belief that it was flat and sheep may fall off the edge it is the general belief beforehand from for, uh, from the past it is said that the earth was flat in european history or in even in europeans but when ferdinand magellan make a um, successful journey it has proved the earth was round after that bartholomew dias was the first european sailor to arrive in south africa in 1488 bartholomew dias the first sailor who arrived south africa isn't it's mean he reached south africa in 
stormy weather and strong winds forced Dias to travel of course and he sailed around the southernmost southernmost trip of Africa. Stormy weather capture and travel him. So he faced difficulty. Okay. He named this trip as a Cape of Storm. In Bengali, Ut Jhore Antori. In English, Cape of Storm. After that, Vasco da Gama was the first European explorer who travelled to India. The land of silk and spice by sea. Vasco da Gama was successful to reach India. And according to the Marco Polo, India is a land of silk and spices. And he has discovered the route. <coughs> he reached Kalikat Bandar. He reached Kalikat Bandar of India. Okay. Christopher Columbus sailed west from Spain and found a new continent later called America. Christopher Columbus from Spain, he discovered a new land, but he did not rename it. America Vespucci, when discovered or you can say reach the continent which was invented by Christopher Columbus, he named it after his name America. Modern means of transport. Nowadays, what the transport means, it is said here. Technological and scientific advancement throughout the 18th, 19th, and 20th century changed the transport system all over the world. You can say nowadays, what was the development of transport system through the centuries makes the transport system very easy. Invention and scientific scientific discoveries such as the steamship, locomotives, motor car and petroleum brought about a huge change in the means of transport. This was the mainly changes in transport system. You can use airplanes, motor car, sheep, steam ships. Okay. You can also use rockets, maybe you, you can also maybe use you can also may use rockets. New routes were open and people started to trade with far facing countries, far reaching countries. When these route new routes are invented, so there is a big opportunity for new trade with the new countries or farther and farther or farther most countries. The power of the steam was used to run railway engines and steamship in the 19th century. In 19th century, the at first steam engine was invented and this was used in ships or railways. As a result, the civilization get a new speed. The Wright brothers invent and invented and flew the first aircraft. The Wright layer, Wright flyer, flyer, in the early 20th century. In 20th century, the Wright brothers, the two brothers who invented the first aircraft. Since then, air travel has undergone tremendous technological advancement and has become a significant model mode of transport in the today's lifetime. It is the most successful and you can say fastest in transport of fast food transport. You can tra go one country in few hours with the help of aircrafts. The developments of communications. Communication means sharing our feelings or emotion with others or inform information. Sharing of 
sharing or exchanging information or ideas with one another is called communication you talk over phone with your friends about some topics in study in study or other things you can talk to your uncle your father with the help of mobiles you can email okay this is the system of communication the early humans drew different sign and symbols on cave walls and cave walls that are believed to be the depictions of their daily lives in early times there no mobiles no telephones no such device to communicate with each other they use some signals even there is some symbols or sign to communicate they want whatever what they want to say with others they use this they if, uh, if they give, uh, they wants to give a message to another tribe so they use some symbols okay S smoke signal are also used as a mean of communication to send warnings you can see in serials or films that heroine or heroes or some other co-artist they use smoke signal to give signal something or alert alertness this signal is also part of communication development of writings and pigeon post the developments of cities and need of different resources lead to the emergence of long distance state when the cities and the deep transport became more advanced so there needs a new communication system to communicate throughout the larger distance trade needed a medium to communicate across different cities and religions are uh, and keep records if you do not know the prices of things it is increasing or decreasing so the trade is very diff become difficult and in religion also and you have to store the records so the communication is become very necessary at the time people invent something thus the need of writing emerges so then the writing of later style of writer is invented the sumerian invent the earliest form of writing called pictograph a pictograph in which symbols present in the object so they start a you can say they wants to wants uh, they wa uh, they wanted to make letters they made symbols with them they can inform others writing evolved gradually and people started writing letters to communicate with their friends and families before the advent of postal service people sent this letter using messenger and pigeon post pigeon post means you put a letter in the leg of a pigeon and you the letter he carried to another address that's why the communication system is developed this messenger also called her her cars travel to far up place to deliver letters or any important news her cars they you can say like postman they deliver messages or letters however it look took then them days and even months to do so is it blemishes pigeons were used as recently as the early 19 19th centuries for communication prison post are used in 19th centuries okay messages are written on scroll or and tied to their feet what i will say it now the practice proved to be 
effective as a medium of communication because of the pigeon's ability to fly back to their homes. Pigeons use their magnet object presented in their beaks and they also use the magnet field of walls. So they do, not, they do not forget their homes. They come came back to their they come back to their homes. So people use these techniques. Invention of the printing press. The first printing press was invented in East of Asia around the 19th, 13th century. But, uh, but it was a complicated uh, complicated system to use. Okay. In 13th century, the printing press was invented. Okay. But it was very complex. Generally, some few peoples can use this. In the 15th century, the printing press was invented in Germany by Johannes Gutenberg. At first, the system of printing press was invented in Germany. Who invented it? Johnson Gutenberg. Johnson Gutenberg. He devised hand models with woods and metal, which made it possible to print movable types of letters. He used a technique. He made models of metal and wood letters and they use it to take advantage of printing in a small time he can print many things the ink was used to print the words and sentence on paper and he used ink on paper and paper and he used ink to write the words and letters and sentence you can say invention of telegraph and telephone you can say in modern days we use telephones and telegraph before telephone we use telegraphs Samuel Morse in 19 in 1844 invented the telegraph which advanced the system and me method of the communication you can say it is better than the pigeon system pigeon post system okay telegraph could send a message almost instantly from one place one part of the of the world to another it's make the transport very, communication very easy you can give a message one part of the world to another part of the world in a short times does it help in faster and easier communication it needed a source of electricity for sending messages it need electricity okay like fax machine okay in 1876 telephone was invented by alexander graham bell this was the you can say the most successful pillar of communication graham bell invented the telephone in 1876 one could speak directly to another person over the telephone and it made the communication system simpler convenient and safer before the before discovering telephone, you send messages. Some words may be difficult to understand for the listeners or to the receivers. But when you call or talk over telephone, the other person on the other side, he can easily understood whatever you want to say to him. Or what message he, he will be sent to him and it's safer no one can hear without them in modern times mobile phones connect people access the globe nowadays we can mobile phone we can use it all over the world computer and satellites advancement of satellite satellite technology which allows sending signal in the longer distance has helped in the progress of the communication you you have here about the satellite system india sent many satellite in the universe so these satellites help us to see or watch television or you can say mobile you use we can use mobile through the signals the satellite technology is also is also used in web communication such as emails, social media and video calling. We can video call, make video call with through the help of
कम्पिटेशन सैटेलैट्स और मोबाइल फोन की ओर से द इन्वेंशन ऑफ कम्प्यूटर एंड इंटरनेट हैज कनेक्टेड द होल वर्ल्ड थ्रू ए सिस्टम दैट एक्ट्स लाइक वेव एंड यू कैन से दल वर्ल्ड बिकेम वेरी इजी और वेरी कनेक्टेबल नो पीपल यू कैन से आर मे यू कैन से इज नॉट फार दैन अदर पीपल इफ ही वॉन्ट टू कम्युनिकेट विथ अदर ई कैन डू इट वेरी इजिली थ्रू मोबाइल्स और सैटेलाइट और टैबलेट्स और अदर्स लाइक सोशल मीडिया और यू कैन से टेक्नोलॉजीज विथ टेक्नोलॉजीज सो दिस इज द रियल कॉन्सेप्ट इन दिस कम्युनिकेशन और ट्रांसपोर्ट दीज थिंग्स लीड आस इन मॉडर्न सिविलाइजेशन आल ह्यूमेंस यूज ए टेक्निक एंड दिस टेक्निक्स इज बीके मोर कॉम्प्लेक्स एंड मोर इजियर एज ए रिजल्ट द होल सिस्टम टेक अस टू मॉडर्न सोसाइटी 